The Bahamas Public Services Union will have a new president tonight as the union's membership headed to the polls today. The polls closed at 6 p.m. Voters today chose a president from among three teams as longtime president John Pinder chose not to run for a fourth term. Cleopatra Murphy reports. It's decision day for members of the Bahamas Public Services Union who will decide who will take the helm of the union and which direction they would like to see the union head in. Several members shared what they are looking for in the union's leadership. I'm looking for a leadership. When you call on them, they could deliver. Because why? The former, they, they tend to sit back. You understand me? When you call on the union, they're supposed to be there for you. We need persons who are going to seem to want to represent us and not seem to cut deals elsewhere with the powers that be. Okay? So um, we don't want we don't want them too much political mixing up. Eight executive positions from president to trustee are open. A difference in this year's election: just one candidate's name is on each ballot, and each post is represented by color. Chief Shop Steward for the union Ann Stubbs says her vote goes to Kimsley Ferguson, and for her, it is about change. Alan Thompson, also undecided, wants decisive leadership. I would like to um, the leader to address. Um, for the workers um, in the in the in the in the workplace, first of all, um, salary, pension. Don't just make talks, show accent. So if you tell me you can do something for me, show me it. Don't just tell me it, because we're so mean nothing without wakes. At the General Post Office, we found Team Restoration's contender for Assistant Secretary General, Delvin Moss, and presidential candidate for the workers' team, Kimsley Ferguson, at the Department of Environmental Health Services. Issues they want addressed include minimum wage and regularization of temporary workers. Getting the, union, the membership going and then trying to get established uh, agency shop within the union that will, in essence, get the entire civil service or most of us into the union. We want to look at ensuring that minimum wage is addressed in this country so that our members can live above, slightly above survival mode. We want to also try to implement certain things for the Bahamas Public Services Union that will cost the union to be very attractive to its members. The Department of Labor is in charge of the election, which Inspector Decker Daniels says was a smooth process. Once we close the poll at 6 o'clock, we will start the count right after. So um, a time, we really can't give you a time frame, but we were pretty fast and we have experienced persons here. so maybe within the hour after. The union is made up of nearly 4,000 members and candidates say they are hopeful that all eligible members would have taken the initiative to vote. Cleopatra Murphy, ZNS Network News.